Okay. Have you ever been filling up the tub to take a nice relaxing bath, but then the phone rings and it's work, so you leave the room because the water is too loud. And once your boss shuts up, you go back in the bathroom and you see that the tub overflowed and all the suds are on the flooded floor. I'm just asking for a friend. Well, if you've ever had that happen, then you're on your way to understanding a new way of cleaning up harbors, minus the bubbles, boss, phone, and the relaxing parts. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Trash bins don't necessarily stop people from littering, but they do help maintain the cleanliness of our terrestrial surrounding. Now, there's a new trash bin innovation which is also aimed at keeping our planet cleaner, but it's designed specifically for water. Naturally, it's called Sea Bin. The Sea Bin works very simply. We have the floating trash can and we put a submersible water pump underneath it. And so we're continually bringing water in the top and we're pumping it out the bottom. And so this brings on all the debris that is floating on the surface of the water. Peter Siglinski is the co-founder of Seabin Project, along with his business partner, Andrew Turton, who is the inventor of the Seabin. I used to be a product designer and I was designing kitchen appliances, mobile telephones and other bits and pieces made out of plastic. And I was in a time in my life where I really wanted to make an impact on other people and the environment. And when he told me about this Seabin and how he had got it to this stage where he needed to get it a bit more, I could step in and really make it happen for him. And together, we created this business. Using crowdfunding, they were able to get Seabin off the ground. I met up with Peter at a marina in Ventura, California. Peter and Andrew build sea bins out of recycled HDPE plastic, which is a high density polyethylene. Basically, we're using plastic to catch plastic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so this is a polypropylene plastic mesh, and this is the filter that we use to catch the plastics with, so the water will come in through the top, we pump it out the bottom, and then all the big stuff, it gets caught in here, and we can just take it to the recycling station, and then sort it, pull out all, all the stuff, and then put it back in, and then that can just keep collecting. About 70 marinas worldwide have already signed on to use sea bins, all sharing visions of cleaner, sparkling waters, and a safer place for wildlife. So how does your love of the ocean and being in it motivate your work? Uh, it's pretty easy, actually. When you go surfing or swimming, fishing, anything to do with the water, the last thing you want to see is trash floating around. And uh, it's pretty inspiring to be able to actually get it out on a global reach and to create this incredible impact with the sea bins. What's the wider goal of what you're doing? Um, so I guess when we first started this, we realised that the sea bin it wasn't the solution. Um, because if we, if we can't turn off the tap to ocean plastics or trash or littering, you're never going to clean it up. And so we thought, how are we going to do that? And so we created an educational um, program and a scientific program. For the scientific side of things, we want to know what sort of impact we're having. By collecting data on a weekly basis, they've learned that the number one caught item, cigarette butts. Second, plastic particles. And third, food wrappers. Each sea bin is this really amazing um, little sort of scientific research station. And uh, so for, for us, if we can combine the education, the science and the technology, it's for us, it's a whole, a whole solution. A local solution with global impact.